Jamaica's national stadium went crazy when Oblique Seville defeated Noah Lyles to win the men's 100m race in the 6th Racers Grand Prix recently at the Jamaican National Stadium, Seville clocking in at a personal best and a world lead of 9.82 seconds. Seville beat his previous best time of 9.86 seconds and took the world lead from American Christian Miller, who ran 9.93 seconds in April. Seville later revealed that he surprised himself after having to back off in training due to a minor injury concern. Well, me and my coach um, was working on the execution throughout the week and the past month and, and coming out here and get a good execution show that the work that they have put in paid off. Well, it's a tremendous feeling because, as I said, last year, uh, uh, last year because of injuries, I, was, I, was, I didn't compete. But for this year, I'm actually happy that I compete and get a personal best and win in front of my Jamaican fans. So I'm happy that I compete against Lies because all, the first time I competed with Lies last year was the World Championship final. And coming out here running against him in my country is good. A bleak Seville of Jamaica issued a warning to his American rivals following his thrilling victory over reigning American sprint double world champion Noah Lyles at the Racers Grand Prix on Saturday, stating that the male sprinters in his homeland will be formidable this year. Noah Lyles also spoke to the media after the race. I feel great. Do you know? I feel ready to run. I feel ready for everything that's moving on from here. I'm ready to go to the Olympic trials. You know, you know, all my best races after, uh, happen after the second round, but 85, I'm never going to be upset with that. You know, I, my coach came here saying that I'm in, like, PR shape, running 985, I'm perfectly fine with that. He also expressed some concerns about the start of the race. So I was disappointed in the gunman. I mean, we, none of us were even set. Half of us weren't even set before the gun went off. And uh, that's very disappointing to see, but overall, the race was great. Uh, I came out here, I ran exactly what I thought I was going to run, anywhere faster than 988. And, uh, you know, it, you know, just today just wasn't where the, the wind was. It builds nothing but confidence. You know, I'm seeing everybody else in the world, and you know, me and Oblique is leading the, the world right now by leaps and bounds. So at this point, I'm walking into USA, it's like, y'all better put something on your chest before I cave in your chest. <laughs> The result and the manner of Seville's victory over Lyles sent shockwaves through the athletics world and sent Twitter into a frenzy. Even Lyles himself was forced to respond with a post captioned Oh yeah. I'll remember this. See you in Paris at Oblique Seville.